Lexi, how, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing today? Good. I got some crazy dogs down here. You can't see what's going on, but they're insane. So we're, we're knocking things around. I got uh, two of my own. I get it. I get it. So uh, you're going to be joining me on Friday down at Old North Bar. Thanks for hanging out and uh, playing some tunes with me. That's going to be cool. Uh, yeah. Tell me a little bit about you and about how you uh, you got into this. And uh, give me some of your history as I try to fight dogs away. <laughs> That's all right. Like I said, I got two and they're crazy as well. Um, so I'm from Minnesota. Like I was saying, I'm from Duluth, so way up north. Um, back home, actually, I first started performing in scholarship pageantry. That was the first time I was ever on stage. And uh, a couple years after that, I got a reach out from this eight piece band with a full horn section called Lake City Smoking Section saying that they needed a lead singer. And I was like, you know what? Hey, let's try it. My mom's 64, still sings live music. So it's in my blood. Um, and it went super well. So I ended up being in a few bands back home. We pretty much did everything that we were able to do there. Everywhere with live music, we got to play, which was awesome, built a following. Um, and then this last September is when I moved to Lexington, uh, signed with Adam as my manager. And then I've just been building a band here with the Osborne brothers and, and loving it so far. So so you were doing this stuff with a big band, kind of like uh, soul type, uh, like yep. those horns and the whole bit? Wow. Yep, yep. So, it was so much fun. So you got to have a big voice to stack up with a horn section. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely. Big you do. You got a big Aretha, you got a big Aretha Franklin yeah. voice. Is that what you got? Yeah, I mean, I, I try to. <laughs> I try to as much as I can. But, you know, I, we did a lot of different kind of music uh, in that band. We did a little bit of country, not much, mm -hmm. mostly mm -hmm. like Aretha. We did some Stevie Wonder, and I, I kept a lot of those songs in my band yeah. here as I'm moving uh. forward. So we're still doing super, Superstition, uh, I Wish, still do Respect every once in a while. Uh, Valerie was another one that came out of that yeah. eight-piece band. Um, it was just a lot of fun and it's having a full horn section is just so different. Um, it's a different kind of musicality from what you experience just having kind of a four or five piece band uh, with all your, you know, your bass and your lead and your acoustic. Uh, so it, it was cool to experience that right off the bat as I was starting rather than just starting with a smaller band and then building up from there. I was just kind of thrown into the thick of it. And You're like, this is how it always is. Yep. That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> yep. Every band has a horn section. I wish. I uh, honestly, well, they all should. They it adds so much. It really does. Oh uh, yeah, I'm with you on that. Mm -hmm. So is it? So that's what you're trying to do now. You're are you writing music? You're trying to do original stuff in that vein and that kind of like soulful groove thing. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, I've uh, I've kind of switched over a little bit into the more of the country genre. Uh, but like I said, we still have a lot of that like old R&B soul uh, kind of influence in our band now. Um, but in my it's writing, for Chris it's, Stapleton. It's work for Chris Stapleton. Yeah, oh yeah, and then you know he's one I mean? of my yeah. favorite artists of all time. Yeah. Yeah, a lot he's got of soul such a great that. voice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely writing originals. We've got uh, one that's out right now called Dodge a Bullet. Um, I've got a bunch more kind of just sitting in the chamber waiting to be recorded and released. Um, but okay. we're doing we're doing a lot of those live as well, which is a lot of fun. Just kind of seeing how people are reacting and which ones we should move forward with, which ones kind of flopped, and then working on them from there. So. That's awesome. So you're 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 recording just kind of single releasing as you go kind of thing. Is that what you're saying? You're not doing a full on project? Well, it's kind of a weird in between right now. So we okay. are doing singles, um, but I do have my eye on starting to build an album. Um, I have this really weird idea of doing an entire album in drop D just because I, I absolutely love songs in drop D. I don't know. Why. I don't mean to interrupt. Look at these crazies. Look at this. These. Oh, this they're what's so happening. adorable, though. This is what's happening right now? This is what's happening? Just like who is this strange voice I hear, Dad? <laughs> exactly. Been, Are they pit bulls? This, one is a pit bull. Uh, one is a cavapoo, who is the, who's the most vicious, and then one is a stand, standard poodle. So that's what okay. you got. No, I, I was listening though, and what you said was you want to do an entire record in drop D, which yeah. is really cool. Yeah. So, but this is a great this is a great episode it's the best episode ever it. lexi thank you for being part of this with the dogs of course anyway so in drop d are you one to make that heavy you want to because you know you think of groove you think of uh, a lot of drop d is very dark very very you know metal that's a lot of drop D. right what do you what do you want to do so i've been playing around with a lot of like minor chord progressions in drop in drop d lately um and i really like it however the guy that i write with is just fantastic at finger picking so mm. we have a couple songs right now that are in drop D that are just a little bit slower. 
um, more of that like old country feel, tell me a story, paint a picture in my head. Um, that's mm -hmm. what I like to do with my songwriting. So we've got two songs right now that are really, really strong. Um, I'm looking forward to recording those and getting those released. And then um, we have a third one that I love as well. It's called Fireball Whiskey. And actually, Adam was driving me and my mom to the airport in Cincinnati, and we had st stopped at this truck, truck stop. And in the bathroom, there was a little sign that said, Fireball Whiskey, tastes like heaven, burns like hell. And I was like, oh, there it is, right there. There's the song. Got to write it. So we did. Um, and that one wow. is definitely a little and darker. Now and now you're branded at every little convenience store and mart across the nation. Yep. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey. If you'll uh, if you'll oblige me, Lexi, we're hanging out. This is just me being dumb, but yeah. I uh, <clears throat> I will I was playing this drop D thing before you you started. So if you like it, you can have it. Ooh. See if I can remember it. I can remember the hook. It was a really cool hook. Let me see if I can find it again. It was almost Bon Jovi, like every drop D. Oh, song I love that. Acoustic. I love that. It's, whenever you play drop D on an acoustic, it's it's almost Bon Jovi. But yep. I got I take it. See the one that we wrote. The one that we wrote, Fireball Whiskey, sounds almost almost identical to blue on black yeah no that's that's not the one i was playing that that's yeah yeah let's see if i remember let me find the groove And I've, I've had this hook stuck in my head just when you mm -hmm. did those couple little pauses. Um, right, I've had this right. hook stuck in my head for weeks. It's like uh, now we're barefoot, boots booting on the bar top singing. And then it's like, na, 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 na. That would actually fit there quite nicely. See, now we're, we're co-writers all of a sudden. See, that's I what know, happens. Right? That so nice. it happens. <laughs> hey, Lexi, we're going to jam on Friday. Yeah. It's going to be awesome, right? Absolutely. We're going to definitely do some uh, June Carter and Johnny Cash. Yes, it's one of my favorite songs to sing, honestly. And I hadn't started singing that one until I got down here. My mom does it. So I've heard it before and I was familiar with it. Um, but the first time ever that we sang it, we were at Cocktails 2. And some lady came up to me. I can't remember her name for the life of me right now, but she was so sweet. She looks at me. She goes, you sound just like June. I was like, okay, well, that is the coolest compliment and the best compliment ever. So I'll take it. I'll take it. That's That's awesome. Yeah, we're gonna have some fun. It'll be great. We uh, we'll be there seven to ten. I've got a couple of other guests. It's gonna be a, a fun little jam, and and uh, I got a fiddle player coming. So yeah, oh, it's gonna be fun. Oh yes, and love we're gonna that. Hold, we're gonna throw a hoe down. We're gonna throw like a you know drop D jam Bon Jovi sound and hoe down. I like it. I like it. Just get real nitty gritty with it. Absolutely. Hey, mm -hmm. Lexi, when uh, where, where do we find your stuff? Uh, anywhere that streams music, so Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, um, everything is under Lexi and the Chill Billies right now. Anywhere that you uh, can stream music, you can find our stuff. This is Bruno Mars. I love it. Oh, he's so cute. Stop, you named your dog Bruno Mars. Okay, I'm in love well, with that. Well, uh, I, it's a long story. I didn't name this dog, but he's he's mine, and I love him dearly. But uh, <clears throat> that's for another podcast. Hey, Lexi, yeah. thank you. Thank you. I'm getting attacked. Uh, I uh, send me the links and I'll make sure we get them in the video. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Thank you.